yo what is up guys so today we're checking out planet terror which apparently is like not really the second part of death proof but it was released in the same night as like a two-parter in mm -hmm. a way and shares characters apparently right so i'm ready to see them ladies go beat the hell out of somebody again <laughs> hopefully uh but yeah i know some of the same characters are in here mm -hmm. i really liked that movie it was so weird when i was watching it that it was unique well about 30 or 40 minutes into the movie i was still like trying to figure out what the heck we were watching right me too um but it turned out to be one of the most memorable movies we've ever yeah. seen on this channel we're sort of diverging a little bit we're kind of, well we have one more which is once upon a time in hollywood but then we're kind of doing other Tarantino works, which this one is one of them because apparently he's in it. And then the other one will be from Dust Till Dawn, which apparently he wrote. Man, I'm really excited to see this movie. Uh, I hope this is as interesting as the first one. Yeah. And hopefully there's something from this movie that I can take with me forever, like a girl <laughs> on the hood with her arms stretched out. Uh, <laughs> that's just an image that's going to live in infamy in this Abdul Amwangada. So uh, yep. let's go, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit us up on Patreon if you guys want to see the full uncut reaction to this film. And we have so many others on there. And we also do Patreon only TV shows. We have a bunch of there's a bunch of projects that aren't on YouTube. I'll put it that way. So uh, and we have one very big one coming up. Why are you Why are you always making it a secret? <laughs> Just said, what is it? Because I don't want to say yet. Anyways, guys, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Rated R for smoking, sexual content, alcohol use, violence, and foul language. Great menu. Sounds like the menu at Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> Lobster risotto. Yes, I love this little thing. They called him Machete. Seven dollars uh. a day for yard work. I'm so sorry. We're about to restart, basically, guys. But listen, the second I the second I saw this man right here, I don't know if this is Machete or if this is another one of a spinoff or something. But I've heard of Machete and I've seen him like on the cover. I mean, everybody knows who this guy is. I don't really I'm know. I'm sitting what he's here in, wrapping my head around who is that guy. <laughs> does he look familiar? I, I I feel like that guy's super familiar to me. I've seen him in stuff. I just don't know what it is. He's plays in a lot of stuff, I believe. I, I know he has a cameo in Breaking Bad. I'm pretty sure, or not a cameo, but a scene in there. That's a cameo. Is that what that is? I thought a cameo was like when a famous person or like makes a, an appearance. You know what I'm saying? I could be wrong, but that's what I thought. A cameo I thought it was like if like if a sports star, like if Aaron Rodgers was in they Game of Thrones. Him a machete. Yeah, that's a cameo. Seven dollars right, a day for yard work. Um, yeah. hundred for roofing. Get in. One twenty-five for septic, sewage. Jack of all trades. As you may know, illegal aliens such as yourself are being forced out of our country for the good of both our people. Our new senator must die. And for that, I will pay you $150,000 cash. He was given an offer he couldn't refuse. <laughs> I cost the most. I'm the best there is. Oh, man. Set up double crossed and left for dead. This is Our like Tropic place. Thunder at the beginning. And now you want Kinda. me to help you kill all these men? Yes, bro. I mean, Padre. <laughs> See what I can do. The cross. He knows the score. Where are my wife and daughter? He gets the women. <laughs> <laughs> That's that guy's wife and daughter. <laughs> and he kills the bad guys. But they soon realize they just oh. with the wrong Mexican. If you're gonna hire a machete to kill the bad guy, you better make damn sure the bad guy isn't you. <laughs> oh my god. I'm kinda here for this. This machete. is insane. He looked like a Rated twisted X. metal player. Rated X. Brought Can't to you watch that. from your friends at the Weinstein Company. Oh, I bet it was. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. A key cat. Was that a for real trailer? <laughs> the, the other guy in that trailer was a famous actor, too. He's from the Cheek and Chong uh, franchise. Hey, yo, you got some speed, man. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. Oh wait, that's not what he says. Guys, I know y'all don't care, but I messed that all up. He goes, hey, what's the matter? You're scared of a little speed, man. You, oh. know, dude, you got some speed, man. You, you don't know what I'm talking about, do you? No, I don't know what you're talking about. All right, all right. No, but I got a joint. Yeah, yeah, you guys will get it. <laughs> will We're gonna watch that one day on the channel. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> the audience. 
Because <laughs> they know movies. Rodriguez International Pictures. Kind of tough. Robert Rodriguez. There you go. I say we'd watch Machete. <laughs> right. Was that the actual movie? I don't know. That's what I mean. Well, she seems hydrated. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like. I didn't know how to pronounce that name, so I didn't. <laughs> Not the last part. Jeff Fahey. Naveen Andrews. I can't tell who it is because she's twisting her head so much. <laughs> <laughs> she's like. <laughs> I'm assuming she's the same one that did that same thing in the last movie. <laughs> probably so. It's probably like her backstory. That's what she, that's how she learned. Nah, I think she's different. Yeah, I think so too, actually. Loki, she's strong as hell. Oh, she's crying. Damn it, girls. You're gonna do that shit? Do it on stage. <laughs> sure, darling. Loki, too many fucking times. Can't be up there crying and all that shit. You know what a go-go dance is? Useless talent number 12? No, it's a happy dance. I'm quitting. Say that at least one night a week. I mean it this time. I need a dramatic change in my life. I've always said you're funny. Like that Chris Rock? <laughs> Only prettier? Any girl leaving early must check out with her finger and have a bye-bye slip. What? Here's my finger. And here's my bye-bye slip. She looks kind of familiar, but I don't know who she is. I think she was on Death Proof. Maybe that's why she's familiar. Uh-oh. Don't stop me, Matt. <laughs> it really could have been. Provocative there. Well, they just knocked her into some trash cans. From their perspective, she needs to get off the road. <laughs> <laughs> They're driving him. <laughs> I'm just joking. You shouldn't run people off the road in the trash cans, okay? I know that. Especially in the military. Jesus, people. don't come for me in the comments. <laughs> guys know the drill, huh? Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Wait, she had to know. Yo, that's my boy. Saeed. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He fell in yeah, love with Shannon. No, he's like the best character, though. Kinda. I can see you've had Sometimes. a spot of trouble, Rowan. Would you like to tell me what happened? Oh, they escaped. I don't know how they did it. Just, they got I'm up. I'm sorry, Romy, but I just don't trust you anymore. Tell his ass. Is that eyeballs? No. no. I swear, you're not gonna see me anymore. Not so fast. Okay. Ooh. I also want your balls. He collects balls? Man, mine just don't really look like that, so I'm I couldn't really tell. Those look kind of pickled. Oh, sweet God. <laughs> I was really attached to my specimen. Now they're out there in the night doing God knows. You can't do it, Abby. Please. Please, Abby. Oh. He said no. Do we have to watch this part? I don't, that looks like it hurt. Let me go. You I can get you up. No. No. How does he not die after that? <laughs> oh. Pick this up, please. Yeah, you can't do it yourself. So his last moment was that much pain. That sucks. I hope that's not the scene I always remember. That guy. Nicholas Cage. Where's the shit? <laughs> that's not the Nicholas Cage, right bro. <laughs> Who is it? The deal is still good. Oh my god. Who's that? No. That's Bruce Willis. Oh, it's not. <laughs> you held out on me. Sorry, Jay. Let you down. Now I want all of it. Move in. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Ooh, no, no, no. Why did that have to happen? <laughs> I got you by the balls, Abby. I'll ask you one more time. Where's the shit? Why is everywhere? your face bowling? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Just some skin melter. 
Man, his is bubbling up. Oh, sir, sliding off. Wasn't he in Pulp Fiction? Why did he grab the balls and put them in his pocket? Yeah, he was. He was the boxer. He almost got his butthole play with in the bottom of that thing. Dude, I, I was trying to forget about that part. The pawn shop. Marcellus was locked up. Oh, balls. The Saeed just made some zombs. Is that what? I mean, that's a zomb. The skin's melting off and everything. <laughs> a radiator. It's town. It's just a stripped radiator cap. Water you better back up. up. Man, that happened to me one time. I had to pull into some dude's yard. I was like, hey, can I use your water hose? He was like, yeah. You okay. <laughs> I'm just cherry. Want to have a seat anywhere. I'll be right in. Here, take this with you. Not your good spring water. Ain't nothing good about it. Bottle it myself. Get it right there out of the dam. Thanks. JT. We're serving inside tonight. Best barbecue in Texas around the clock. I gotta go. Saving lives, are you? Now, how did you know that? Weird interaction with JT. I know. But when someone offers barbecue, no you don't turn it down. <laughs> right. She might could have got it for free. Except for him, because he just licked that spoon and probably put it back in there. That's what makes it the best barbecue <laughs> in Texas to him. He puts his foot in it. Open the shades. Get some light in here. The stuff. Nice night. Coffee. Damn, he gets out of bed rough, don't he? I guess Hazel I couldn't get off work this week. But you only have to stay till 10. A friend of mine will be here before 10 to pick up Tony. I'm going to eat your brains and gain your knowledge. What did I tell you? <laughs> no playing with toys at the table. Didn't I tell you that? Yeah. There's a packed suitcase under his bed. It to Tony to take with him when my friend picks him up. Is she cheating? Hey, what happened to your tooth? Fell out. Wow. I used to say a prayer for your old man. No dead bodies for dad dad tonight. No dead bodies for dad tonight. Amen. Amen. Who was that you were talking to? Babysitter. She's on her way. You believe her? No. Dang, that's terrible. Terrible situation. There it is. Oh, God. Ew. Catastrophe. I feel like the plot's thickening up, and I'm just waiting on it. Yeah, we keep all meeting at the same little spot. Right. This is typical like kind of how death proof was I, I wasn't really sure what was going on or like what the purpose was kind of with this well i know the purpose there's like some crazy gas being well i mean yeah yeah yeah, for sure hey hey how's it going jt all right <laughs> not the dog nice oh yeah all night a cup of coffee and a pack of cigarettes please yes the red apples tonight it's a special night what's so special about tonight been open 25 years is he drinking his barbecue sauce? Throwing a party. It is that is dang good, brother? You're the second person to show up tonight. Who's the first? Right there. Must be passing through. Seems only strangers are here. That sounds I creepy. I here, JT. Oh, yeah, you sure do. By the way, don't choke on all that food you're eating. Hello, Palomita. I don't go by that name anymore. Why not? Because it's the name you gave me. What? Y'all know each other? So, uh... You ever become that fancy doctor? Never did. Oh, for sure you would. Talked about it enough. The problem with goals, they become the thing you talk about instead of the thing you do. Aww. That's my jacket. I looked for it for two weeks. Yeah, how long did you look for me, Ray? Yeah, well, the jacket belonged to me, you didn't. So, uh, what are you doing now? I'm going to be a stand-up comedian. <laughs> really? You're not funny. <laughs> That's not nice. Yeah, well... Really good seeing you again. Oh, um, what name do you go by now? In case I want to catch one of your shows? Cherry. Cherry, darling. Well, 
will always be Palomita to me. <laughs> okay, dude. That was an awkward interaction, wasn't it? <laughs> He's crazy for not sitting by that dog. I need a ride. Is she crying because she had to bite her prior there? Maybe. I'll give you a ride. She reminds me of the girl from Scream, Sydney's friend. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's her, but she sort of looks like her. Yeah, she does, kind of. Of course. The garage door one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Doc? I got bit. Bit? But what? Well, if I told you, you probably wouldn't believe me. Back teen or something? I mean, you better start talking. Ooh. Hey, just sew it up. I need to be doing something to stop the bleeding. The problem is this one doesn't bleed. Check this out. In this uh, was little military hospital, this one guy came back from a rock with this. Ooh, chronic herpetic oh. lesions. Oh, jeez. Ew. Well, how'd you treat it? I was never in Iraq. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Oh. Yeah, dude, dude, dude. Nah. nah, it's about to get in your eyes. Wasn't he talking fine just a minute ago? My tongue was like that. I wouldn't even be talking. Wait, wah, 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 wah. Shut up, Joe. Oh. Oh, oh, what are you doing? Baby, get the needles. Right there. Movie's making my balls hurt. Right. You concealed that thing. I know. <laughs> Why she got the needles concealed? Oh, maybe because she's about to escape. It's spreading. Shit. What did you say you got the device? Now. Ew. See this? We gotta lose the arm, Joe. Oh lose man. Arm? What do you mean lose arm? My arm? Well, shouldn't I get a second opinion? Hi, Joe. Oh hell no. I'm going to give you a very strong anesthetic so you don't feel anything during the procedure. These are my friends. My yellow friend. It's just to take the sting. Ah. My blue friend. You said. You'll barely feel. And after my red-headed friend. So that's the anesthesiologist. They don't be putting it in your arm, they do they? react differently. <laughs> Dedicated to our own Jungle Julia in loving memory. Oh, Jungle Julia, we know her. It's not the radiator. I'm assuming since it's dark outside, she just assumes that's fog or something. That stuff is green as hell. Yeah. No, at that point, she knows it's green. There's headlights. Hey! 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 <laughs> you better not. I've almost seen two girls get hit by a car. They were both jaywalking. <laughs> <laughs> Her plan is to just jump out in front of one. Oh, no. hey. Did she just get tackled? Oh, zombies got her. Dude. What the hell is that? People picking up roadkill. What, like an armadillo? Is that actually Here. common? I've always just heard of that, but I live in Georgia. I've never seen that. You know, I read a statistic that said the eating of venison has risen 30% in the last few years. 60% of that's from roadkill. You're driving out here Remember? at 70 miles an hour in a deer we know someone that did. You. If you blink or that break or <laughs> swerve, so you just kill yourself. That was hubcaps too. That's different. <laughs> Pick them off. Did they just run someone over? I thought you said if you saw a deer, you shouldn't swerve. There wasn't a deer. That's what I always tell you. Oh my god. Remember when we first got together and I told you you made me a bad driver because you always distracted me? That was a clear example right there. Didn't have his eyes on the road. Oh my god, they just straight took her leg? Oh my god. Don't let Don't 
one severed leg. Oof! Where's the leg? We he took it. Doctor. They took the leg with them. That's crazy. So they're the leg snatchers. Well, they don't need, like, they're ripping them apart, but they don't even know it's like a zombie apocalypse yet. Well, that guy just started shooting, didn't he? You have to come with us, right? We still. need to talk about this, you know? He has to sign her in. We fill this out after we talk. Let's go. Hey, Bluff. You want to be here for this? Let me get your face arm off. No, you do it. Come on, Ray. You know you're not supposed to be doing that stuff anymore. Not even hunting? Not even hunting. Now you've got a gal in your wreck truck with a missing leg, and here you're saying in front of everybody that someone up and snatched it. And that you shot at him with a gun that you never should have had in the first place? How is that not weird, y'all? What if I find the leg? So, now you know where it is. Sheriff, can we finish this conversation somewhere else? Not exactly. I know a little arrogant putting up a sign. Best damn barbecue in Texas. Oh. But hell, I'm working on the perfect sauce. Yeah. You put me on the food channel. <laughs> I ain't seen him, so. He wants to go on that backyard barbecue show, don't he? Yeah. <laughs> Can I interest y'all in a plate of soon to be award winning barbecue? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you tell that some bitch. He thinks he's going to come over here and get my recipes. <laughs> they I act got like a he's Double barrel answered his query right inside. That's like the Krusty Krab. Yeah. Point that's coming over. Yeah. This is the Deformioli. I thought he was a horrible guy, but I'm starting to realize he's just a barbecue guy. <laughs> They're probably he's about to just, just really eat him. He's just really into it. He's just yeah. really into his barbecue. He's already on 620, picking up another two. Fucking Wednesday nights. That's What's up with him and putting that duck? in his mouth? What do you say now, Doc? Somebody call my wife. <laughs> They did that guy wrong. I know. When the monsters attack the girlfriend, it's always the boyfriend who goes down for it. He looks like the guy on Boy Meets World, the neighbor. Too. I'll be honest with you, I didn't watch that. <laughs> <laughs> what about covering with that, Okay, gotcha, gotcha. No more. Beat. I gotta get home. See y'all tomorrow. All right, then. Thanks for the extra help, Earl. Hey, Ray. Good to see you again, Earl. Yeah, that's the Probably same cop, right? Always, yeah. It's passing through, I hope. I know, me too. How's the wife, Earl? Well, she's not too good. Mm -hmm. Thanks for asking. See y'all. Doesn't he have son number one or something like that? Yeah. Now at least she can testify. Yeah. Mm. That'd be a crazy way to wake up, man. I know. I had a nightmare when I had ankle surgery. I was going to wake up and not have an ankle. Sheriff Hague. It's JT, Sheriff. JT, that's the barbecue business. Right now, I ain't calling my brother. I'm calling the sheriff. I'm listening. Oh. What's the trouble? I've got two delinquents been hanging around here for over an hour. They won't purchase and they won't leave. Uh-oh. Well, never mind. Here they come. You give me that recipe or I'll raise your rent higher than Georgia Pine. Brother, ain't no Texans ever going to give you his barbecue recipe. <laughs> they think it comes from the barbecue. You going to look? Are you going to eat? <laughs> Ew. Man, poor guy. He was just trying to win an Call award. Me. Looks like a no-brainer. What does that mean? No <gasps> brain. Literally. Uh, liquefactive necrosis. You think? Oh, thank you. That'll be all. The camera work on this is so cool, guys. I love it. It's unique. Do you know she was back in town? No. That's what she was texting? I didn't. What happened to her? I don't know, baby. I thought you stopped seeing each other. We have. Yes, you have now. She's fucking dead. I mean, we, we stopped before. I haven't talked to her in a while. But nothing. Ooh. What are you doing? Let me see your last three messages. You have no right. I don't. I was about to say, you should have stuck him. Have a right? <laughs> Show it to me. Show it to me. Ah! Now that's just to take the sting off. Show it to me. Help, oh, please. Show ah! it to ah! me. Ow. Now let's see how fast your friends work. Man, you should have stuck him. 
He said, you ain't cheating on me, girl. <laughs> well, I think she's just trying to escape Pretty the relationship because he's obviously abusive. We know that. I don't know why I just told oh, you. Oh, what do I know, my love? That you're a cheating, lying sack. I didn't want to hurt you. And I was afraid. He skipped a step. I'm the mother of your son. Uh-oh. And after this one, I'll never see you again. What? What? You gotta see this. I'll be right there. What? Dang. Where the hell are the bodies? That's what we wanted to show you. They're gone. They didn't just get up and walk out, did they? <laughs> Shut up! Somebody can't kill this perp from Eagle Frank! What the hell's going on? Oh, he was causing the ruckus over at Skiff's place, so I cocked him. Bit my goddamn finger oh. off. Go get it. Ray? You stay put. They're calm about this. Yeah, they all seem like oblivious to what's going on. There's obviously a zombie apocalypse. They all seem so calm, right? Like when they see it, I'd be freaking out. They're arresting him for a girl's leg. Yeah, he's cool as hell about it. He's just like, <laughs> what y'all doing? <laughs> sure, he's in there. What? They let that guy just walk around. <laughs> Yeah, he knows them, because I guess he got in trouble before. <laughs> Where's my finger? On your ring. Could be the same guy as your leg snatcher. I didn't get a good look at mine. At him over there? How would he know? Ah! Ah! Intercepted. Right. Picked off by Malcolm Butler. <laughs> was it? I think it was Quentin. Right? You need to go and shackle Ray. He needs the help. I don't blame Ray. He don't want to get caught up in all this. <laughs> right, they might blame his ass for it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Improvise. <laughs> They're like actually playing Call of Duty Zombies. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. It's Ray Mysterio. Go, don't touch him. Why not? He's infected. Ray, drop the fucking gun. The cops are so dumb, but the criminal gets it. He's not a criminal. He's wrongly accused. Well, in this role, he's a criminal. Where the fuck <laughs> do you think you're going? I'm gonna go get Cherry. Fine, but we're taking my car. Today, Bubba. I'm riding with you. Don't make any sudden moves. You still think you did it? <laughs> I mean, he's even go eating hair off each other. <laughs> I'm gonna go with those guys over there. Maybe they did it. Viral infections. What do you think? Self-preservation comes to mind. Yeah. Let's get the hell out of here. Self-preservation. Get my wife. Luckily, the cord doesn't reach. Oh, you better run. Oh, 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 why are you just standing oh. there? Oh, my God. Well, at least he didn't mind him. He's he going to be popped a, as it. What if he's a zombie trying to take his wife's legs off? You know what I mean? Because he's like mad at her. I feel like nobody in these movies can run. It wouldn't Hello, catch me, sweet. boy. I'd be gone. There you go, bunny rabbit. Come on. Come on. Open up. Stay around for a while. You understand? Hey. Meet me, my brothers. I got you. I'll be there. Man, she's as good as gone then. Come on. 
karma. What's wrong with her? That's just like in Pulp Fiction when he jumps out and lands in the trash can. <laughs> Alex on 22s. I mean, that's pretty impressive, though, for her hands not working. Dude, you gotta go. <laughs> they just ignore it because they got more things to worry about. Right. What the hell is going on? Are you gonna give me a gun? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I think if Ray survives this, he's off the hook. I feel like he'll win that case for sure if he gets the right lawyer. <laughs> you say, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was the the paramedic. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he didn't. What a true hero. <laughs> oh, her boot. Please don't be a zombie. Oh, she's good. Get up. Leave it. Dang, she she dodged that. For what? Look at me. Look at me. I was gonna be a stand up comedian. I was gonna laugh now. Some of the best jokes are about cripples. Let's go. I was about to say, you might get more laughs. Oh my gosh, let's go. How the hell did he make it stay? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you have to get like something under there so you don't slip. It's like he's trained for this moment or something. <laughs> Cause he's, he's like that, ready. <laughs> you know how there's always that guy that like one day when the apocalypse happens, I'm gonna be ready. He's that guy. He's doing backflips off the wall. <laughs> <laughs> he basically just told her figure it out. <laughs> you can call me whatever the fuck you want. I don't give a shit. Chica. Step 10. We can't be watching your kill goddamn night. And never shut up and we got shut to start doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, she just kicked the babysitters out. Tony! We're leaving. Wait, I'm tarantula. Am I it's tarantula? Am I scorpion? And we're not what in oh, the I hell, kid. I can't carry everything. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> She looks like a zombie kind of because her makeup and her wrists. Yeah. What did I tell you? Can't bring them all. Didn't I tell you that? Okay, they can live in the same tank. I don't think so. What about my pocket bike? It's in the trunk. Why? Don't be late with those babysitters. Oh, because she you kicked them out the door. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> I thought they were just going to let it slide. <laughs> oh, no. We're going back to JT's. Are you sure you want to do this? Everybody grab a badge and Ninja a gun. Stars? Oh. You're all deputies, as of this moment forward, except for you, Ray. He hates Ray. <laughs> nope. He'll use knives then. Let's go. JT's that Better kind of guy. <laughs> JT! He didn't deserve it. God damn, JT. Oh. Oh, it's just a sausage. He loves that shit, don't he? He's <laughs> like, damn, that's good. <laughs> damn good sausage, Link JT. 
Best in Texas. Must have passed out after I killed those things. Oh, he passed out with some sausage. Everybody, gather up supplies. Yeah, hungry. We head out in twenty. <laughs> that guy is wild. I finally found my award-winning barbecue sauce. Your blood's in it. Ew. He's a hell yeah. God damn it, he's right. Why do you like the taste of blood, bro? He... You didn't get bit, did you? Oh. Want you to open that for mommy. Now, take the gun. Careful. And if anyone comes to the door that isn't me, I want you to shoot them, okay? I'm not kidding, Tony. You shoot them. Just like your video games. What if it's dad? Especially if it's your dad. Dad better hope you bought that Nintendo. <laughs> and be careful where you point that thing. You'll blow your own face off. Be right back. I love you. Oh my god. Tony! Hello, baby. Did he shoot him? Yeah. He's a zom now. Damn, why didn't we watch this in October? Oh my god, oh my god. How is he conscious? Oh, that's what the son would say. Oh yeah, he didn't say that. Oh god damn it, I told you I didn't want to see you again. Daddy! This is, is that, a small town, huh? Is it daughter number oh, one? Yeah. Right, like son number one. <laughs> if it's escape vehicles you want, escape vehicles I got. Right this way. Watch that meet. Meet my wife. This is Jesse James, <laughs> custom dominator. I made Jesse a plate of barbecue so goddamn good he made this baby for me free of fucking charge. That's crazy. <laughs> Whatever happened to that show? Stop. This baby's chopped. Roman. Who are you? I mean, really? Ray's wreckage. That's what it says on your truck. Are you a wrecker, Ray? Nobody. Oh, he's part of a bird gang. It's the easiest thing to remember. Hey, you want some barbecue? <laughs> Best in Texas. Aw, <laughs> oh, no thanks. What's the matter? You don't eat meat? Oh, I eat meat. I also eat lots of shit. See this? What's that? Shit eating grin. <laughs> you ought to be a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> she what do you is. think of the leg? Oh, well, that's funny. How's <laughs> mm -hmm. your stump? We knocked it out something fierce. Still can't feel a thing. Old JT knows how to live. <laughs> like f he does. I like how you say f Good. <laughs> f you. Oh, so now you're the comedian. Go ahead. Drop your pants. That'll be good for a laugh. He's so serious too, ain't he? That's my jacket. <laughs> Look for it. You haven't stuck no, your hand in the pocket in that long? Gonna give it to you, but you left me, and I looked for it for two weeks. Read it. I ain't buying it. I would have felt that. <laughs> two against the world. Remember that. <laughs> I never forgot it. Why'd you leave? Because you didn't believe in us. I can't tell if I'm supposed to be taking this super serious or thinking right. it's funny. It's hard. I know. It's hard to tell. Because he said, <laughs> yeah, she just lost her. Oh, she did have a necklace on that had the same tattoo he had. They're in the pigeon club. Oh, <laughs> why? I guess the reason why you wouldn't take this so serious because she just has a wood as a leg like and there's I, a zombie apocalypse. Is that why I don't take it serious? I'm not sure. <laughs> it's hard to tell. <laughs> Oh wow, we jump way into the future, huh? I figured one of the new deputies might end up shooting me. I got you, Tolo! Sorry, I'm sorry. You're gonna be alright. McGraw's here. And a whole bunch of others. Come on! 
There's, there's oh, girls. This movie's so funny. He's acting for her. He's like, <laughs> what did I tell you, Tony? Oh, she's just going Don't through it over here. Yourself. If I had known that you were El Rey, I wouldn't have given you such a hard time. <laughs> I didn't mean to be a prick about it. I was just like special ops or something. Or he's like an anti hero or do something. What you do best. That's what I mean. A lot happened since that <laughs> missing footage. No, you're not. Don't give him the gun. Not give him the gun. Too. He just pointed at him. He's like, don't give it to him. <laughs> give you him just shot gun. him. Give him all the guns. That's right. Oh god. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> that boy's got the devil in him. <laughs> Gotta that's fight why. <laughs> that's why, that's why this movie is funny. <laughs> this movie's cool as shit. Dude. They just watch him do some spin trick, and they're like, "That's cool." That boy's got the devil in him. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, you let him rip him apart and then bang me. <laughs> Damn, he went from zero to hero for sure. Still my barbecue recipe. <laughs> we need grenades or something. That's that guy's fantasy in a way though. Look at all those customers. <laughs> He's like, this is how it should have been. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all was saying. Yo, skip. Front of center. Why'd you dress like Go that? Front. <laughs> Start up the kill dozer. We needed to transport the other survivors. You fucking he said it's the end of the world. Not no going out there. Anymore. I'll cover you. Not going. I'm dressing like Britney Spears. <laughs> Come on, Skip. Let's go, go. Not cry, cry. Jerry! <laughs> he said, I didn't know you were ill, Ray. <laughs> But why do they have to make this poor girl do this movie with a damn cable leg? <laughs> For what? I don't know. But this would be cool like a zombie game and you can be her. Yeah, like if that was the main place in the map. The little barbecue spot. Yeah. Just shoot and rake. I know you could be El Rey if you wanted to. <laughs> or JT. <laughs> I'm, <good. laughs> I'm not worthy. Yeah, grab the twins. Come on with me. You take the chopper. I need someone else to drive He's my like, truck. He's like, grab the twins. right there with the Uzi. <laughs> Bleeding like a stuck pig. Somebody grab the slaw. Ain't had no barbecue without coleslaw. He's hey. like, grab the twins and let's go. That's all he got. <laughs> all right, y'all head out. I'll hold them all. All right, take care of myself. Bye, Daddy. Bye, Ride a bike. Useless talent number 32. Good. Anyone else have a car? <laughs> but I've got a coffee bike in the trunk. Is it fast? Zero to fifty in four seconds. You went with her. Damn That's what I thought a pocket bike was. I used to want one of those. My parents looked at me like I was dumb as hell when I asked for it. <laughs> this is one of my favorite ones I've ever seen. <laughs> There's like this zombie game that you can play that is like this, where it's just like corny. Yeah. But you can do like a helicopter into zombies with your fist. Yeah, and just, I forgot what it's called though, but it has like corny like rock music and stuff. The hips are spread, boy. He's got things open, don't he? <laughs> <laughs> he looks like Spider Man. Yeah, he does. <laughs> If you don't have this mask, you're infected. <laughs> All survivors gotta come with us. Especially you, El Rey. I don't go by that name anymore. Jerk. 
Nicholas Cage is a cold actor, ain't he? Stop calling him that, because <laughs> I know it's Bruce Willis okay. now. It's okay. Don't trick me. Starring Nicholas Cage in Die Hard. <laughs> if it was Nicholas Cage, we could have been like Nicholas Cage or Cage. The old army base. El Rey. That you? He's with them. I saw him in their convoy earlier. I'm a scientist and a businessman, not military. Which is why he's gonna tell us what is going on. They're stealing biochemical weapons. DC2. Also known as Project Terror. Mm. Designed to take out an entire populace in a controlled, landlocked area. You were supplying it to them. That's why they shut you out. I found my supply. Ten stories down. What about countering with the atropine and PAMP2? Interferes with the neurotoxin delivery. Sets off the cell blaster. You're gushing blood and pus through every sacred hole in your body. The only treatment is a regimented exposure to DC2 itself. Delays the negative effects. What do you want to do? Mm. Mexico. Put our backs against the ocean and defend ourselves from there. No, we have to get back to my lab. You have an antidote. There's, there he is. There is Tarantino. You! You! Come with us. Do it, Peggy! He knew he wasn't going to get there. He just wanted to put on a show. <laughs> I tried, baby. You got something you want to say to me? Nothing to say to you. You got nothing to say, huh? That's funny. Because I could have swore you just gave me a f you look right now. You want to say you to me? Not at this moment. You know what this is? A gun. It's simplicity itself. You see, you pointed at what you want to die. Don't taunt me, Trim. I am not one to be taunted. <laughs> you got it? You're bubbling. I got it. You damn well better. Love <laughs> salty. <laughs> That's all my sauce needed, with just a little more salt. <laughs> JD, I got it covered. I'm sorry, got my sweat, got my tears, not all I need some blood! Oh. Put the gun! JT! Yeah. Oh, oh, man. No. Yeah, okay. JT, you all right? Oh. <laughs> yes. I sell Ray. Are you all right, bro? God damn it, I'm not all right at all, brother. Not at all. <laughs> no, not the two bros. Oh, I sure will. <laughs> Someone needs to remember it for him. <laughs> Let his legacy live on. Yeah, for sure. Women in cages. They watched that on something, right? See them in love. No, it was women with guns. I'm gonna go get my go ahead. She's got one leg. Easier access. Rest this shit upstairs and we'll blow this entire floor. Okay. It kind of looks like a theme park or something you would go to. He's down here. He's getting his <laughs> wet, sir. Get him the <laughs> down here now! Lewis. Wilson. Where are my men? I've got several right here. Ooh. They're balls, sweetheart. We didn't know this about Saeed. But why is he the ball we'll getter, though? The <laughs> Let us go. Tell me what we should. Because Just I to heard put, it. like, the fear in your name you or something? That? You want the story? Termites nest in caves on the Afghan border. Me and my men walking around with our d in our hands, our balls in our throats, looking for America's <laughs> most wanted blood. <laughs> yeah. For once, our intel was right on the money. I come around a corner, bam, there he is, looking me right in the eyes. Wait, you killed Bin Laden? I put two in his heart, one in his computer. That was Bruce Willis, never knew. Class A clusterfuck. He wasn't supposed to be there. We weren't supposed to be there, and I sure as wasn't supposed to be the one to punch his dialysis ticket. So instead of a chest full of metals, we got a face full of DC2. Damn. A cure. That is not until we found somebody from the other side willing to solve batches of this shit. Then you realized if you could infect a large enough populace, Experiment and its survivors. You'd find a cure. I swore to my men that I'd do everything in my power to keep them alive. That's so That's twisted. Man, understand. 
So he's helping the populace to find a cure. You know who I, sir. God bless you and your service to this country. You're a doctor? <laughs> I was earlier tonight. I always wanted to be a doctor. Instead, I can do this. Oh, useless talent number 66. A girlfriend of mine had a theory. She said at some point in your life, you find a use for every useless talent you ever had. You're a dancer. I was earlier tonight. Well, I'm pulling you out of retirement. Get your ass out. Star for entertainment, baby, and that means you. Radio. Way up, baby, now. To a party. That's what I'm talking about. Dance it up. That's so mean. Keep dancing. I have seen me some crazy <laughs> ass shit in my day. Dance. <laughs> Pick a leg! If Tarantino didn't Break make movies, off. I don't know what the hell he'd be doing. <laughs> oh! oh no. Uh-oh. She needs that. Uh. <laughs> oh no. You thought it was pretty funny, didn't you? Actually... You should be a comedian. Yes. <laughs> now I'm gonna give you... Oh, it's infected, probably. Oh. Ew. Yeah. I'm just gonna have to make this quick. Oh, cause he's a zombie. Damn, he's determined, ain't he? Uh. Yes. <laughs> Where'd you get that? Useless talent number 37. <laughs> Oh, she's got her fingers back. Let's go. Let's go. Be on the other side, oh, brother. Okay. <laughs> That's not even him who said it, but it was just fire. <laughs> yeah, that was Desmond. <laughs> I do believe in you. Oh, did she just put it? Always have. She just put a gun on her leg. Yeah. I think you deserve Stop. it. Stop. <laughs> than me. How's that gonna work? Right now. Stand. Boy, there just ain't no way. Well, it's done clear if I were you. There's probably a lot of guys out there that are like, mm -hmm. I like that. You got a raffle leg. Hey, let's go. <laughs> How did she pull the trigger? <laughs> I don't know, but it went full circle. She was like a dancer. Now she's using her talents elsewhere. <laughs> I mean, I recommend everyone strip at least a little bit, right? Enjoy <laughs> bolts and tanks. <laughs> to help you later in life. Any dinner left, we get on our way to the helicopter. This is talent number 66. There are two helicopters big enough to take all of us. Who can fly? I can fly, but the way in hell I'm going to fly now. Okay. I'll fly. <laughs> yeah, X boss. I think we're going to stay here, Ray. Here is for me then, Sheriff. It's a pleasure. Three minutes. Brother's a good man, JT. Best in Texas. <laughs> Damn, sorry I judged you, JT. A bond. No, the other way. Oh. <laughs> no. The other way. Oh, backwards. <laughs> Why are you laughing at Because this is so crazy. <laughs> like, what is our job? <laughs> that guy who got out of jail and Jackie Brown would have loved this. She had a bayonet on that thing. Did you see it? <laughs> the helicopters are on the other side of this wall. Make a run for it. No! If we all get killed, there's no stopping this plague. Don't you get it? Where the antidote? Well, is there another way around? Wait here. 
was such a good actor in Lost. I'm just glad to see that he got another like. Yeah. Because you know I've never seen him in anything. I, right. Else. Never even heard about him. And he was probably my favorite character. Him and Desmond. No. I don't suppose there are any other biochemical engineers around. Well, damn! Shut Take my mouth. No. Dang, man. We have to get over that wall. I was thinking we could build us a new place, right there where the old one was. You cook. I work the back. Hmm. You don't make that rent so goddamn high. You share the recipe. We share the rent. Start at two hundred fifty. Damn. Mm -hmm. I knew it. For how long? For about. Sure. Wrapped in tin foil, right? I don't use no goddamn foil. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Tomatoes, fresh. Canned. No shit. Yeah. Just going to some. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because we're brothers. Thank you for this. You got to take this recipe to your grand. I think I can goddamn guarantee that. Um. <laughs> that was actually wholesome, wasn't it? Yeah, we'll never know. Two brothers divided over a damn barbecue recipe. It really is Texas, ain't it? That's our cue. Jerry Darling, it's all you. El Ray put a lot of trust in her shooting skills. <laughs> he let her go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, she didn't. <laughs> no. How's she get a missile? <laughs> they should put some cardboard down so she can break dance on it. <laughs> they were just like, nice. She never practiced that before. <laughs> she said, I learned best in the field, boys. That cop with the damn <laughs> shirt cut off is killing me, though. <laughs> <laughs> Useless talents, baby. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> she found some shit. Those are fire. He's looking for her. Is that her husband? Told me I'd find you here. The embossed. I was beginning to lose hope. I'm sorry. But I lied. I did want to hurt you. My turn. Dead bodies for daddy tonight. Every like Oh, I didn't put that together. He made his son say that because he was a doctor. Yeah. Okay. Back her on a pope. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Don't touch anything. Oh, that's your granddad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's about to damn weed eat them things. The military zones. I'm not leaving you here like this. Put your backs to it. Protect yourselves there. Now leave me be Ray. Two against the world. It will be. I promise. <laughs> I never miss. <laughs> Don't worry, baby. <laughs> You'll find your way. Well said, right? <laughs> No, no, no. The military's the bad people. Oh, yeah. Maybe she'll make a new military with her leg. Instead of saying we're armed, she's going to go, we're legged. Yeah. <laughs> the right to bear legs. <laughs> women are already saying that. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, women don't want to wear pants. 
All right, we want the right to bare legs. Oh, wow. We started a new playlist called Dystopian. Does that count? <laughs> it's like you said it would be, Ray. I'm like you said I would be. Find the lost, the weary, those that have no hope. I find them and I lead them to a land we've made for ourselves. Well, the land by the sea. I kind of like that. You got a dang minigun on that thing. It's beautiful. She's Aww. beautiful. I wish you could see us. Us too. It's like you said it would be. Two against the world, baby. Two against the world. All right, guys. So, um, that movie was crazy. It as was fun. Hell. <laughs> it was a fun time. Did you love it or what? I thought it was a good. Like, I was smiled the whole time. I was like happy to be here the whole time. I feel like sometimes on this channel we watch something that really just catches me. You know what I'm saying? Completely, it just catches me off guard for yeah. sure. Everything Tarantino related has been that way. Yeah. <laughs> and this was, you know, like I went into this movie not expecting to like love it. I guess maybe yeah. I don't know why. Maybe because it just didn't have like. It wasn't it wasn't directed by Quentin Tarantino. No. I was like, OK, well, maybe it'll be like a Tarantino film in a sense since they're related in that way. But I was just sort of skeptical of it. Right. Because I really thought that Death Proof was such a fun movie to watch. And dude, this topped it to me. Yeah. Like, this was so over I, I, the top funny. Between the two, this one was my favorite one. This is one of the craziest movies we've seen. Like a hundred. Like if we had to choose our top five, just wildest movies. I'm not saying like the best movie in terms of like what's like the most culturally relevant or what's the most impactful but i mean like what was just a damn good time like yeah, this is definitely one that dude just trying to perfect his little sauce man his barbecue <laughs> sauce was so funny that running joke the whole time and her being a comedian those jokes in this movie just kept it going the whole time it was wholesome and also everything kind of came full circle with her I the really writing the was good her, actually yeah. the way they kept making the callbacks yeah. like all all the themes in the in the movie definitely did a complete circle and came back around by the end of the film like mm -hmm. every little quote that was said so i think you're right like this was just a very well written movie yeah because even when they call her a stripper she doesn't want to be like identified as a stripper because she doesn't like go naked right so she's always like i'm a go-go dancer mm -hmm. so like it's just cool how she was like a quote-unquote go-go dancer to like the leader of this <laughs> civilization <laughs> that's definitely an improvement for yeah. sure um <laughs> I guess they all followed her because she was gun leg. Like, how could you tell her that you shouldn't lead when she has the gun on her leg? She was like, Psh. I thought El Ray's character was just so funny. Like, yeah. It's so funny because, like, let's be real. Like, a character like that is never going to be cast as, like, the main guy in a movie. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just, like, especially not in today's time. So it's just funny seeing him in the film. I guess maybe in a sense not making him a total joke in a way. Yeah. He was just just a crazy i don't even know how to describe he what was kind of like a myth to everybody he was like right. he was like everyone knew about him but they knew about him because he hunts down like the bad people he was like five and a half foot tall yeah. he probably weighed like a buck 60 and like <laughs> doing flips off the wall but he was the baddest coldest <laughs> mother you ever saw um i thought he i thought he had a lot of chemistry with the main girl yeah like for some weird corny reason like even their scene when they're about to do it like he was just looking so deep into her soul. It was making me so uncomfortable. It, but it was like, almost like I wasn't sure how to take that because this movie was so goofy. So I wasn't sure like how in love were they really? I didn't realize the movie had such a goofy tone like early on. Like the first 30 yeah. minutes, I thought I was supposed to sort of take it a little more serious than mm -hmm. I was maybe, you know, because like with the abusive husband thing, the yeah. cell phone, I was thinking like, damn, this movie might end up being kind of dark in a way. But mm -hmm. It ended up just being a damn goofball of a yeah. movie. And I, I love that. I think we need more of that in the world. Yes. I, thought, I think that was so funny. Just like a good movie, you can smile and like have just have a fun time. There was so it. much in this movie that was hilarious, babe, because it was so subtle. Like even like the Latina girls fighting with each other and stuff. <laughs> the girl was like kicking them out, then they end up coming and almost jumping her ass. <laughs> That that's just so funny. Like yeah. I don't because who would take the time to put that subject matter in a film? No, right? Like she's literally like kicking why were two Latina door. girls watching your little son anyway like, especially yeah. when like well especially when your relationship's not good enough with them to like be like 10 minutes late i know you know what i mean yeah. <laughs> imagine like don't be late <laughs> yeah them girls will beat your ass yeah. if you're late i'm for real 
She, All the things like that were funny. It was just like when you put yourself in that universe, it was just funny. It was hilarious. Yeah. Man. Just a top the tier barbecue film. person's my favorite, though. JT, he's my favorite. I had so much fun with that because, guys, I've said it multiple times. The only thing Mrs. October consumes content related is food. Maybe that's a little much to be telling you guys, but she puts on care. Food Network 24 7. We're always watching some Mark Weens on YouTube. We're always watching some Sunny. We're always watching some uh, uh, Mike Chen. We watch all that stuff, man. So we really like to watch just like other foods and other places, other cultures and stuff and just how they like eat and experience life in that way. And seeing the barbecue spot on this was just so funny because it reminded me of Guy Ferrari. I call him <laughs> Guy Ferrari. Why? Because uh, he goes the he does triple D. He's like, today we're down at a triple D barbecue <laughs> joint. We're gonna check out some of the best homemade barbecue sauce in Texas. And it just, it just reminded Except me for of he's Food not Network. Country, but okay. It reminded me old school. I don't know how to talk like him. <laughs> you know, <laughs> just such a funny movie. I loved it. Yeah, and I think it was cool how it also tied in with Quentin's universe by using like. I feel like the tie-ins always those cigarettes. The apple. Yeah. That and the uh and I wanna the, say the Kahuna burger and stuff I, like that. I wanna say I've seen JT's barbecue somewhere from something. There's probably like lots of JT's barbecues out there. No, though. I'm talking about on Tarantino. I feel like oh, there was somewhere yeah, 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 I seen maybe. that. Maybe they stopped in or they rode by or something. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't on Death Proof though. Man, it wasn't. I'll be honest with you guys, we went a little too long without watching this, I feel like, because we watched Death Proof and we didn't we we had no idea there was another movie associated at all. Which, because we were just going through the Tarantinos, but right. then a lot of comments said, hey, that came out together. So. Right, right. Yeah. And I'm really glad that we watched it. Yeah. Sorry it took us so long. We should have watched that the next day. It's a really good Halloween movie. Like, I think in October, it's a really good time to watch that. It's a. Uh, Definitely a unique zombie movie, for sure. There was just something about this movie, guys, that just made it so much fun. Maybe it was just the camera work. Maybe it was just the oh, really yeah. grainy picture yes. and the constant like distortion in the image yeah. and stuff. It really gave you that old school, you know, back when movies was actually on film, yeah. Phil, you know? And uh, a lot of the times, man, I just have a hard time putting into words what I just saw. You know what I mean? Hey, After a day, it really sorry. soaks in. You know what was crazy about this movie, the way it was filmed? What? They literally took out like a whole sequence. Oh, and they did it? No. Well, yeah, but when they took out that sequence, like a lot happened. From well, that's there. what I was saying. That's what I'm saying. They time jumped to the future. Yeah. Like, a lot happened because they were doing it. And the next thing you know, the place is on fire. So yeah. I guess a lot had happened. And then that's when the big and that's what's crazy is like if they would have chose to reveal who the character was, it would have almost like saturated the all of it. Mm. But the way the way they chose to basically leave that part out of the movie and to just you pop back into the perspective of the cop. And he's like, well, damn, you're L. Ray. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It was just so funny, man. And and the was, other cop was also Tarantino Universe because he was they, in yeah, Kill yeah, Bill. Yeah. So that was cool to see him as well. That was the cop that goes, well, since it don't cost nothing to think or something like that. <laughs> well, he always has his son with him and he calls him son number one. That's, that's all the I remember. The subtitle always says it. Yeah. Oh, that's what the subtitle The subtitle oh. will say son number one. Because he, he <laughs> I didn't, thought he called him that. Mm -mm. He would just be like, well, and, he, and it would just show him and it'd be like son number one speaking. <laughs> So, yeah, that's why she's calling him son number one. Oh. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people don't watch subtitles on their stuff. Uh, she likes the subtitles. And oh, yeah, I don't really my bad. I really thought that's what they he called him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even know what else to say, man. Hopefully you guys had fun watching that with us. I'm sure that, like, if you've seen this movie multiple times and all the mysteries taken out of it, you know, I'm pretty sure you guys didn't have as much fun as we did. But I do want to say that was a damn good time. Yeah. That movie went by. It felt like 30 minutes. It really is mind-blowing how how something so wild and crazy could be on film. And I, let's talk, and I just didn't even know about it. Let's talk about Machete. Yeah. Is Machete related? Because Machete is a movie. I haven't seen it, but I'm pretty oh, sure it's a movie. Oh, you know it's a movie? A movie? The, so the thing is, okay, so you know how when you get on like your streaming app or something, you know how when we first got together and I'd try to find a movie and it would take me how long? Forever. I would Because I would go through four apps and look through every movie. And I just, nothing would ever really catch my eye, right? And so doing that, that's what I've said before on the channel. Like you, you sort of get familiar with like the names of movies. Or you like, like you watch a trailer or something like maybe back, right. in, especially back in the day when we actually watched TV, there was actually trailers like as commercials. Mm -hmm. So like if I like sometimes I feel I'll see a trailer and be like, oh, yeah, like, it, makes, it almost makes you wonder if you've seen it. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of that for sure. But most. Yeah. Most of them I haven't. That's just true, right. But, but no, I never even heard of that guy, but I've seen that guy on something. So we have, it's not that we have a low attention span, but it's more of just like, you know, we just have young kids and stuff. So sitting down to watch a movie wasn't always ideal for us. Yeah. So we have navigated more towards TV shows. Like we watched Lost, we started Prison Break, we did Ozark. 
all but the last episode we watched. Um, <laughs> what else we watched together, sweetie? We Bates wa- Motel. Bates Motel. Prison, well, you said Prison Break, right? Right. But there was one other one. Oh, you. You. Oh, And so you. out of all those shows, men, over the years, that's about what we've watched together. Uh, that's pretty much about everything. And it's just nice because you can set it down and then come back to it, you know? Mm. Yeah. And so seeing Saeed on Lost was really cool. Is what oh, basically my God. What I love that, so that's why yeah. we recognize that character. He's a legend on Lost, man. Definitely an iconic character. Yeah. If you want to see that guy in like the greatest role of his life, go watch him on Lost. He was a good change of pace on Lost because yeah. there was the hard headedness of Jack. And then there was the, the annoyance of Sawyer. And then there was... <laughs> That was like a good balance in a way with Saeed, I guess. Well, you know what's funny is Sawyer is the one you would quote most. <laughs> Come on, Freckles. Yeah, <laughs> Sawyer is one of the great characters. He's an anti hero. I mean, yeah, in a way. Like, <laughs> yeah. he's, got some, he's got some good character development. In a way, I just had a good time, man. Leave a like yeah. on the video. Uh, hit us up on Patreon if you guys want to see the full uncut. Hopefully, we didn't and miss anything. Someone told us for the next Tarantino movie, which is Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, we need to look up some Sharon Tate and the Manson murder stuff. So I do know a lot about Marilyn Manson. I'm not a Marilyn Manson expert. I know a lot about a lot of stuff, but I don't like to get on YouTube Are you and sure say it's it. Marilyn Manson or it's Charles Manson? Charles Manson. What did I say? Marilyn Manson. Did I say Marilyn? <laughs> I'm like, I know a lot about Charles Manson, and I'm over here calling him Marilyn Manson. <laughs> You called that's you called him Nicholas Cage. We, that's bro. that guy we heard that rumor about when we were like, <laughs> oh, that he could give us that he could lick his own Johnson. Yeah, guys, but listen, listen, we're from different states, and there was no internet, and we still heard that rumor. Yeah, we heard that uh, Marilyn Manson removed his ribs that way he could give himself <laughs> oral sex. And uh, if let you us know heard if you guys that, heard that. Yeah, please let us know because we really don't know. Well, first of all, I never googled. I don't want to, but is it true or did we just all hear that? I'm pretty sure. It's, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm not trying to hate, but you know, the guy might have done it. Seems kind of weird. He seems like you might do that if you're if you're a fan out there. You know what I'm saying? So sorry. Send me a documentary. I'll be a fan after I watch it. Uh, but yeah, dude, Charles Manson definitely a weird character, uh, a goofy cult leader. He probably would have done better off like in the long term in terms of like trial and stuff if he wouldn't have been playing this goofy character the whole time. I do think a lot of what this man did was a character though. There's a lot going on with that case, man. It's a lot deeper yeah, than just a well, crazy cold. Well, leader. the thing like, I you know, got the CIA involved. Right, we're talking MK Ultra. There's a lot going on there. Well, the thing I know is he also helped other serial killers get caught. Him, right. but also what I did know for sure about him is he never really killed anyone. He just convinced people to. Right, exactly. Yeah. And then he was also uh, given like a lot of drugs by the state and stuff. So there's just um, a lot going on with that. So yeah, I'm gonna be excited to watch a few things about that. Do you think we, we should that. freshen up on a documentary before we watch it? Maybe. Because I'll be honest with you guys. I've never watched like a documentary on it. I've just, from what I've heard, I've watched his like interviews. I mean, I'm listening to podcasts Don't, about. Are you evil, Charles? Aren't we all evil? Blah, yeah, I've blah, heard blah. podcasts about him and I definitely know like he could convince women. It was women specifically in their like young 20s. Right. To do stuff. But um, I heard a lot of it was like circumstantial evidence. So I don't know. There's a lot. There's a lot there. We'll, we'll probably freshen up on a documentary with that, but. To be honest, it's not something that has ever really interested me. It was sort of before my time. I mean, there's a lot going on in my lifetime, you know what I mean? And uh, I'm definitely laser focused in on a lot of subjects like that. But <laughs> I don't think that's one that I've ever just been particularly enamored by. To yeah, the point that's where I something study it like, like, that. like, okay, so I know I've watched like a lot of murder documentaries and podcasts and stuff. But when it comes to like the cult things, I've never really been too far into that. So like, for example, Charles Manson and Nexium and things like that, I don't or nexus or something like that it's it's a cult but i always kind of skip those things most of the time so it's gonna be cool to i guess see something about it it's just in my nature like if someone tells me that like it's raining outside like my first instinct is you're a liar no it's not i'm gonna see for myself i don't know i'm just like that so cult stuff's never really interested me because i know there's no way i would ever be like in like a cult or something like that another person like telling me what to do and think like that would it would have the opposite effect on me it'd make me really want to like disprove that person yeah i feel like that's just my nature man i'm just not a very agreeable person in that way <laughs> um i argue everything i really do <laughs> uh so yeah man i don't know but I'm, I'm really excited to watch once upon a time in hollywood i'm pretty sure it's a and great from movie. dust till dawn i know nothing about that though like i don't even have a little like Mm-mm. nothing to drop about it follow the channel like i said turn on the notifications and we'll keep dropping movies man Peace. and also leave comments about other directors we should check out that's right because we like to do this little director thing we just We did our first one and I really enjoyed it. (laughs) Okay, peace.